Uh, Crown is not paying attention to you, and Etika doesn't talk. So she's just kind of no, like it's... smiling creepily at you as <laughs> walks up and uh, goes to release you. And Cal, getting very anxious, is going to go, Grand Mage, sir. They can be very fast. And she's going to get her hands up to do a shadow spear aimed at fish. <laughs> <laughs> I understand, Detective. Thank you. You know, it's funny. There never actually was a Grand Mage crown. He died before the position existed. So there's only the benefactor now. Is that what you would prefer to be called, sir? I suppose so. It's what the others call me. Instead of Grand Mage. Cal's gonna roll initiative. I was gonna say Maze was a batch with that. Yes. Ipswich Crown was a great man. And he died in my arms. It was his last great experiment. His perfect reflection. But I wasn't perfect. He was too battered from his capture and torture couldn't solve the final few problems and so at the last of his strength he dragged himself to the arcanum he made and created me and died in my arms and i am so sorry to all of you i am Flawed, and weak, unbroken. If there really was a Grand Mage crown, I'm sure he would have found a way. I have done everything in my power to protect sorcerous lives. Everything I have done minimized death. That is the one thing that we can never come back from. I'm sorry that I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. Etika killed them all. And then he starts to turn and uh, walks away as Angelus is going to make a uh, sleight of hand check. You see um, Angelus slip the metal shim out of the handcuffs and go to tighten them on your wrists for real, and you have just a moment to slip out of them and uh, take the handcuffs off before she uh, seals away your magic. We are now um, going to uh, roll initiative as uh, Angelus uh, smiles and... um, you hear footsteps as crown starts to walk away um you hear dad do we really have to fight them yeah kekano it's has to be done and you see the shadows of some reflections walking out you see fish wearing uh, the old sweaters, the ones that you left behind in your room. Kekano looking identical to yours, but something is wrong with your face, and then you clock it. Well, you used a little bit of concealer. You're pretending to be a famous actor. This fish has erased their reflected tattoos. A whole untattooed fish stepping up uh, behind them a swish of cloth and Cal recognizes this dress it's one of your extras from your room it's been tailored slightly as a flowing pillar of black steps out of the hallway you see a dress a little too bold for your comfort that's why I haven't worn it recently uh, exposed 
from the wrist to the elbow, no gloves, and a veil. Not the veil how you made it, but altered, sewn, and just below the nose, so you can see the purplish berry colored lipstick. I'm I'm sorry that we have to do this. As you see, Confi of Metal step out from behind Cal, and then, well, I'm afraid it just has to be done, as May steps out last. <laughs> May with magical telephony and say, well, you were wondering, Cleric. Elise is going to run in here and see what Calflection is doing, and is like, love that. Callie, take notes. <laughs> yes, love that. Take notes. You cannot copy my sister. I'm going to have to kill you, but before we get down to it, it works, and I love it. The fight starts, and uh, you're all getting your ass beat, and then Elise runs in, and she punches Etika in the face and goes, World Star! And then runs away. <laughs> Elise grabs Cal Flexion's veil, and is like, look, it's not you, so it's just like ripping off the band-aid. See? <laughs> look how cute she is! Oh, fuck, it's Elise with the steel chair! Uh, reflection Fish kind of swaggers uh, across the room towards you. Um... Kekano um, in his arms, a little scared and apprehensive, but receiving some pets, looks up at his dad and says, Do we really have to? Yeah, but sorry. As uh, handsome as they are, there can only be one. You don't think we could do two? I think we could do two, and uh, then, you know, one person would have to, you know, Get out of there. If you want to make it like a competition, maybe move this to, uh, I don't know, a side room somewhere, or... Why not right here? That's what this is all about. Oh, in the public? No. But to be serious, we're, uh, we can work together on this, right? Uh, not sure we can. I mean, well, I guess maybe Dad would be uh, thankful for a second son, you know? <laughs> well, uh, he's not gonna get one. There's just me. Well, I think there's just me. You've really been in contact he... with him? Not yet. You won't be. <laughs> Speaking of, tattoos, what's up with that? Too good for him? Well, uh, you know, they... Because of the reflection, they're on the wrong side. That's for the uh, the family tattoos, and you know, I think uh, I think Dad should have a little more input on that. I figured I'd uh, track down Isle. You know, she's got some transformation magic. Maybe she can uh, we can find a spell of tattoo removal. And uh, you know, gotta be honest, Fish, you barely remember that bar where you did the eyebrows. They're a little sloppy. Plus, Dad could have some input on the design this time. We. Uh, just redo them a little better. That's what you're supposed to be, then. Redoing it a little better. Redoing it a little better. Fish will uh, clamp, uh, attempt to clamp the uh, magic dampening handcuffs onto Angela's. With a um, 27, she uh, slips her hands out of them, knocks them out of your hands, and tucks them into her robes. And as she smiles at you, you see the ring on her hand light up a little bit. The matching one on May light up. And then uh, May says, <clears throat> The cleric said it was a good try, but uh, not fast enough. No, never is. Well, Negotiations seem to not be working, at least with uh, my reflected self. You guys keep trying. I'm just gonna kill this guy. Are you really going to? Are you really going to fight? You? That's not you. Uh, you don't even worry about it, pal. Just go get the sword, please. Kekino looks at you, looks at Reflection Fish and Reflection Kekino, and says. Okay, Dad. Can I... Looks at Collegianus. Can I say a bad word? 
Of course. Kick his butt. I will. And then he jumps down off your shoulder. He starts sliding over towards the others. Looks back towards you. Just a moment. And then starts heading more towards the exit. I'm going to get you that sword, Dad. And you're going to kick their butts. Oh, yeah. Definitely. So what are you going to do? Is your son as uh, brave as mine? What's this about a sword? Nothing. Fuck off. You got a sword? Why didn't I get a sword? Uh, why didn't you? Indeed. Maybe it's because I'm the better one. Hmm. We'll see about that. Kekano, can you uh, head back to the armory and get me the coolest weapon you can find? Yeah, Dad, you got it. And uh, Reflection Kekano uh, heads over to the door and heads out. I'd like to start off with a vicious words. Not a string of insults, just one big one that uh, Fish is going to lay on their reflection, which is, um, you're not going to be good enough. Uh, hits. Reflection Fish looks even snarls a little bit. It's not a high bar to be better than you. Like a little bit of blood start to drip out of the nose. Then let's set it a bit higher. Vault over <laughs> over the um the table. Table. J just get right in their fucking face. <laughs> is that high enough for you? Reflection Fist is gets blasted immediately, very damaged, spits out a little blood, and says, <laughs> "You can play this game." And runs up, and as runs past Reflection Cal, reaches out to the veil as uh, they run past, rolls low enough on the uh, sleight of hand check that Cal just, like, automatically <laughs> moves out of the way, but the veil just moves a little bit as they try to swipe it. Reflection Fish jumps up. As they are mounting the table, you see the fist come up, turn to petrified wood veined with a little bit of green and then they slip and absolutely annihilate the chair that they tripped over reflection fish is prone this chair is destroyed and no longer there and didn't make it all the way up to the table because with uh, disadvantage rolled two nat ones does does fish feel anything looking at uh, their kind of pathetic <laughs> reflection they, uh, they look down at them and don't say anything, but just like, uh -huh, there is there is no doing better than me. Jump back up and is also going to blast him as starts you right in the face. <laughs> Immediate blood. <laughs> Spits it in their face. Fuck you. As Reflection Fish <laughs> struggles back up to their feet, they go, Kagano, forget the weapon, come back! <laughs> A worse father too. And uh, that is uh, Sinner's turn. Sinner is putting his fists up and stepping out in front of May, activating the gauntlets, but it's kind of looking at May and is like, May, Angelus, or are we taking out the reflections? Or, um, Mr. Drum, I think it is a little too far-fetched, but I might as well ask, you wouldn't happen to want to switch sides again, would you? No, I don't think so. Well, it was worth a shot. May's gonna magical telephony. She's not gonna advertise tactics to the enemy. Basically gonna ask Sinner to hold um, his attack until someone makes a move towards anyone except Fish. Because Fish has, like, started their own fight. But if someone, like, makes a move towards Cal or May or Metal, then to attack. He is actually going to uh, step up. He looks very uncertain in this situation very like kind of confused and concerned it doesn't really seem to be totally okay with what's happening here at least until things potentially get a little more violent and he's probably going to get his wish uh, because reflection uh, one is immediately going to backs up gathers a bunch of uh, energy um, in their hand and just fires it off and uh, it just kind of 
Wishes by, smashes into the ceiling like a miniature uh, explosion and uh, rocks from the ceiling start uh, crumbling down. Uh, but total uh, total miss for you. Stay out uh, of it! Reflection uh, 2, who is more of a sinner build, is going to run up, jump up here, and uh, try to kick you off the table. This uh, reflection, uh, kind of a uh, larger uh, woman, runs up, easily vaults onto the table, uh, gets up there, and sweeps your leg out from under you, just sh- kicking your knee so hard you fall off the table uh onto the ground prone uh and uh then they're gonna run on top of you flying leap uh from the table with a uh mace in their hand to uh crush you and you manage to uh, roll out of the way and uh reflection number three who is also a, a big beefy person is going to run up jump over the table and punch Cal in the face. This guy uh, comes in uh, with kind of like a, uh, kind of like brass knuckles and swings at Cal. Cal uh, ducks out of the way and then doesn't see the other fist coming in, clipping her in the side of the head for eight damage. Immediately center because someone other than Fish was attacked. Boom, smashed across the face, the, on the ground, crying. <laughs> Metal is uh, going to uh, run forward and just go, Stop! Can't we... We can figure something out! Reflection Metal just goes, Huh, never willing to commit to anything, huh? Metal prepares herself. Enough! Pulls out the Derringer. Electricity starts channeling through her hands. You see it sparking and arcing through the gun as she picks it up and fires and misses by so far clearly like trying not to hit cal and sinner and sinner is bigger than this guy that's fighting cal and just overcorrects. and it's like probably like two or three feet above cal's head as it just shoots into the wall looks at the gun and then looks over her shoulder at may and says may do you want this i just don't think i'm gonna use the gun anymore (laughs) Well, I can safely put it away. <laughs> passes, it o- passes it over, draws her knives. <laughs> uh, she has never once hit anything. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I think this is the point where she gives up. That uh, brings us to uh, Reflection Metal, um, who is uh, going to get right up in um, all of your faces and, and look at uh, Metal in the eyes and say, you really can't do anything right. And uh, explodes. The sound that comes from Reflection Metal is almost too loud to be believed as uh, this explosion just rips through the room. And pure sound waves, thunder, storms, racks out your ears start bleeding and the force of the air against you pushing and pushing metal takes 20 damage and is pushed 10 feet away sinner takes 10 damage may takes 20 damage is pushed 10 feet away and hits this bench taking an additional two damage cal takes 10 damage just double check yep uh metal is now down and making death saves uh because she was already very injured did she not recover health during the short rest she did recover uh health during the short rest you're very right also even with the nat 20 i still take half damage i will say no cal dodged by literally like ducking down below hand grasping the back of sinner's belt ducking behind him entirely, legs up, so that he's just acts like a breakwater, just all of it crashing around her, ducks back out so quickly that, like, even Sinner was like, oh, did something touch me? (laughs) Reflection uh, number three just entirely, like, is torn apart, flies backwards, 
hits the table. You see them separate as the waist as the table essentially cuts them in half. Then they their body flies over here and they're dead. You see that as uh, you are all blown backwards, there's almost like a vacuum effect as the air rushes back towards a reflection metal. Spinner has covered himself uh, against the explosion and is right in reflection metal's face looking to swing um, at her. Reflection metal gives him a sweetest smile as the wind rushes back wraps around her and her feet and as she runs back past a uh, sinner and cow to here you are each going to take uh that is going to be a uh, five thunder damage to a uh, sinner and a uh, four to cow it is now angelus's turn she has uh, looked at all of this happening with a very slight smile you see the gem light up again and reflection may says she says this just proves that reflections are better than originals yes where's yours whips around eyes focus on cal the better question is where's my reflectant tilt her chin up kind of strokes at the gash of where her neck used to be she left me a gift. She wasn't quite fast enough. And for just a split second, it almost feels like um, something is uh, stretching from her fingers to the reflections around her. And reflection number three stands back up, still battered, still bloody, but alive, and at least somewhat healed you actually see her um uh, jump over the uh desk her form almost seems to blur for a slight second and then she just entirely disappears from sight you don't know where she is you don't know if she's entirely behind cover if you'll recall from before uh angelus is a uh, stealth specialist that is like 90 percent of what she does uh so uh she is gone and you cannot see her cal however see for just a split second as she moves a little bit more of those threads feels that though they are almost imperceptible they do run from her to the reflections and there may be a way to track her through that you are going to hear an incredibly loud noise and sounds of fighting over here beyond this room and then for just a split second appearing and then disappearing elder volate flying back out uh, from a dimensional rift through the wall uh sh firing uh blindly at the wall that hits just a second before her reflection appears uh disappears back into the ether along with her reflection reflection may looks sad looks like she doesn't want to be here looks like she doesn't want to be doing this but has resigned herself to it and is looking from you to sinner and back to you and there's a little bit of almost disgust on her face and as angelus activates the reflections and those threads stretch out you see her posture suddenly stiffen ever so slightly almost imperceptibly as long as angelus is here to puppeteer them there will be no convincing them to not fight Every time they feel weakness or sympathy for you, Angelus will be here to reinforce it. Okay, May's going to um, match Clefany the group and say, as long as Angelus is alive, we're not going to be able to reason with the reflections. We need to take her down. If there is any way you have to flush her out or make her known, now's the time to do it. She's going to yep. look at Reflection May. And so, like, it doesn't have to be this way. There are symbols that can let you live without needing to hurt us. Reflection May is listening to your words, but is kind of, like, 
maybe like the chance of that happening is so low it's not even worth thinking about of being like i wish i wish for you and for me that that would work but it's not going to duck around uh the table over here and get some cover and is then still shooting glances between kind of you and to center but more resolved uh than before the ground under him uh shakes and rumbles as this wave of magic comes out from reflection may as it hits it just does no damage sinner just jumps up like five foot vertical comes down uh right after the shaking has uh, faded, ready to throw down, ready and able to uh, attack May, and uh, just uh, didn't work. All this has been happening while uh, uh, Reflection Fish has been picking themselves off the ground, and uh, this big muscular woman has been kicking normal fish off the table and dropping them to the ground. There is just like this moment where they're kicking the shit out of fish, trying to kill them, and then they just kind of like like lean back for a slight moment and you just thread the bullet through uh, all of them uh, hitting uh, Reflection May with a uh, winging shot. You know, I don't believe I got your name. Do you still go by May? Why, yes, I do, Arcanist Gladly. Respectful. Well, May, I believe your quarrel is between you and me. I think you should leave the others out of it. I think my quarrel is with everyone and with him most of all. He's a dangerous man, you know. You're the one who taught me that. You feel uh, the message spell uh, uh, come to you as um, psychically um, you hear... I don't judge you for Howard. I mean, who could have guessed? But uh, what's the phrase? Once bitten, twice shy? Hitching yourself to a another man who's going to save you. Not a choice I would make. And then it cuts out. That is now going to be Cal with Reflection Cal uh, on deck. Wait, I'm playing this game? Yeah. Uh, Weirdly enough, when you roll a uh, three on your initiative, it takes a while to get to you. What I want to do is move towards where I last saw Angelus try to do a hunt for her necromantic signature, just slash look for her in general. Your attention is quickly shifted to something. You can't really see it. You see it more out of the corner of your eye than when you focus on it, but a disturbance, a thread, something that pulls at them, runs through. You know that Even those most skilled, the more willpower, the more intelligence, the more ability that a zombie or a white or a ghoul or anything of that nature has, the harder it is to control, the more focus is required. And so you get the sense in this moment that Angelus is able to work through these reflections as such a skilled puppet master, cast spells through them, connect with them, maybe even read their minds in some way. But every time she does, it takes more of her control away from the others as it distracts her. You see the thread for Cal and the thread for Reflection 2 running to a corner of the room. And you know that Angelus is somewhere in this part of the room. And then your gaze is caught by your reflection. And she's looking at you as well. Pursed mouth, tight frown, with disappointment, perhaps. Reflection cow looks down at fish steps away give me a attack of opportunity with disadvantage fish you kind of like swipe at reflection cal's um ankles for damage reflection cal looks at reflection fish and says control your other 
She ducks behind the table, hides herself behind it, disappears in a uh, shadow for a moment, and then pops out in a, another location to send a spear of shadow right into Sinner's leg. Sinner uh, screams. 18 damage to Sinner. Uh, Sinner is still looking fine. He's He's got a lot of health, uh, but he's definitely feeling it now that he's getting ganged up on. Now that we are fully in combat and uh, no longer kind of playing by the nice rules. What are you going to do? You going to listen to her? Well, you never really listen to anyone, so... Or the shot, I guess. Tell you what. I propose a parent trap situation. I take dad... And you take mom. Have you considered that I take Dan and you fuck off? You see the wood creep up Reflection Fish's arm, starting to grow almost like armor into their neck. They smile at you. Don't go. <laughs> As you bust through their armor and just flatten their face. There is like a sizable divot where their skull is as Reflection Fish is now dead on the ground. Fish stands over the body and spits right wood at them. Reflection Cow goes, get it together. Oh, what? Do you actually care about me? I've always cared about you, Fish. Haven't you always wanted to see my face? Grabs the uh, bottom of the veil. Not yours. And blasphemous darts at her. Cal ducks down behind the table, trying to avoid this attack. Never misses, and shifts midair, hitting her from above, sinking into the red dress. Pop, pop, pop! Little pockets of darker red as uh, blood starts to seep out from her back. Let's drag reflected fish as far as we can get to where May is. Which would get you to take an attack of opportunity from a reflection too. Swings at you with this mace as you run past, clipping you in the shoulder a little bit. Sinner looks over and sees May. Any preference on who I focus on? Do what you need to do, Mr. Trump. He nods, squares his shoulders, looks over at Metal, who just fucked everyone up, including May, and uh, charges at her to uh, bash her little face in. As he runs up to her, there is the slightest pause, the slightest hesitation, and you watch him kind of close his eyes and wish this wasn't something he had to do. And then he opens them uppercuts grabs the top of her head wraps his arm around and snaps her neck fully bent almost internally decapitated and drops her lifeless body to the ground and then he trudges over metal's corpse grabs the uh reflection number three by the neck and headbutts him very very hard I don't even think Sinner used his full movement, but I think he's just going to want to cry. So I think he's just going to step away from them and kind of not keep going going forward. Reflection uh, number one is going to run over here and cast Shatter. This desk blows up, shatters into splinters that uh, fly out, piercing through you. Fish goes down, but angle themselves so it's like, I'm going to fall on top of my reflection just to make it difficult in case in case they get revived. Just stay down, <laughs> motherfucker. Reflection 2 is going to see that jumped down. May sees a little bit of a hesitation and is then going to make two attacks on a downed fish who is sitting on top of a downed reflection fish. No, May is going to do um Silvery bar. spell, is it? Yeah. Um I was just thinking like if it's potentially like could we last long enough for like 
may destabilize fish and heal them. But, uh, yeah. Ink gives you full permission to let fish die. We've got five life gems in this room right okay. now. So, with life gems, do they need to be used within a certain amount of time? Within one minute of somebody dying. Honey, yeah. did you do mercy? She's in the corner again. <laughs> I think Mercy just fully waited outside. That, no, that no. makes sense. <laughs> Genuinely, that is uh, that is how it happened. You're using silvery barbs to make them re-roll that attack. Yeah. Uh, that is still hits. The second attack misses and hits a reflection fish. I think you get the sense that Angelus doesn't give a shit about these reflections the way that uh, yeah. <laughs> the yeah, way that the uh, crown does. I mean, the sense that Angelus is a rank bitch. That's what I'm getting the sense of. Fuck Angelus. Yep. Mercy runs in here and goes, oh god. And is then going to attack Reflection 2, then uses uh, her bonus action to give Metal guidance. Metal is blessed. You see uh, Metal run up. Get away from them! The air around her starts to sparkle and heat up, coalescing into something in the uh, back of her throat, and breathes fire over fish, reflection fish, May, and the reflection. You watch the fire just curl around May and fish, leaving them entirely unharmed. Reflection number two just starts sizzling and burning, is alive but very fucked up. You see all of a sudden the connection between them and Angelus tighten visible for just a moment. Angelus is here for just that brief moment as you see her, and the reflection's eyes go black shadows wreath her hands as she reaches out and tries to strangle May with necromancy as Angelus casts a spell through that reflection. I don't think it's feasible that May would have like noticed this even happening. She's like half dead. This has like happened very suddenly. The shadows come out and sink into your skin like little needles and you feel icy cold seeping into your veins. 17 points of damage. I'm on death saving for his baby. Reflection metal. Eyes flick open in the broken neck, standing sideways. The neck grossly realigns itself. You see Elder Volate reappear in the room, turn around, gather energy in her hands. Reflection Volate reappears right in front of her, a knife aimed at her throat. Volate sticks her hands up, grabs the hand with the knife. Dimensional echo, uh, Reflection Volate disappears temporarily from this plane. She's gonna look around really fast and figure out what the fuck is going on in here. Sees a whole lot of uh, mess. What? What's happening? Someone report. Metal and Mercy reply at the same time. It's really bad! I don't know, I just got here. But we're- This is bad. <laughs> Holding on! Volte is going to run up over here and get uh, cover behind this desk as uh, she assesses the uh, situation. Now she is uh, ready to aid you. Although, that also means if she's rushing into this fight, that Reflection Volte <laughs> is now a potential enemy. Uh, so that's fun. We'll see how I am next turn. Uh, well, your next turn is now, because if you wouldn't mind playing as Reflection May here through the connection you have with Angelus. Kill them all. Kill them all. Kill them all. Kill them all. We've supported Crown long enough. His foolishness will not stop. His plan must kill them all so that he may succeed whether or not he thanks us for it. Understood, Cleric. I'll do my best. And then May is going to use uh, Mind Spike uh, on Sinner instead. Uh, she's gonna fucking have a crack at him. And as Reflection May fucking spikes into him, she's going to say, you're just going to hurt her again like Howard did, and I'm not going to let that happen. 
Sinner drops to one knee, looks up at you through his brows, anger and rage and hurt and fear on his face. You just understand that what you said to him hurt him deeply, but you hurt Howard before too. You had fights, you had arguments. You saw the anger, a bit of pain and resentment when you first accused him rightly of stealing your research. Men will always get hurt, and they will use that hurt to justify what they do to you in exchange. Pain does not mean they are right. I will use her action and movement to get over to the, you know, the cluster. Is it easy for me to sort for the pile of dead fish? You run across the room, flickering shadows around you to keep from pot shots at you. Slide down on your knees, grab back of a sweater and pull and then be like, no tattoos. Flump. Spare the dying on fish? Yep. Uh, fish is stable. What's Reflection Cal going to do? She also comes over and sorts through the pile. <laughs> sorts through the pile? Is this my fish? <laughs> Sick jacket? Like, no. When you're sorting through like the Goodwill bins and you see another bad bitch and you're like, but don't take my shit. She absolutely does get here. She falls prone by uh, tripping over her own train. She is very much at the edge of the pile, crawling forward with uh, her hands. Fish, you can crack your eyes open just a little bit. You're in a very weakened state, and she's reaching out towards you. What do you do? Danielle, uh, before I die... You have to let me see your face. As Cal crawls up to you and places a hand on your face, she's not wearing the gloves, so it's warm. And then it's cold as the vampiric touch takes effect and she drains the life force that real Cal has just pushed into you to turn around and heal reflection fish. Dinia. Dinia, what are you doing? Oh, I can see you, math. I realize the mistake that I've made. Oh, God. <laughs> Cal hears, like, fish, like, coughing and dying. And he's like, did I just heal you? What the hell is happening? <laughs> reflection fish breathes in, <laughs> hacks up a bunch of blood, and is alive. And the last thing Fish sees before going back down is a little smug smile. Reflection Cal pressed against their, like, upper chest to heal them, being like, yeah. And then you die again. <laughs> this battle is high drama, hey. 13 damage to Cal, 13 damage to Metal. Fish wakes up. You're in your father's domain. You look around and you see your dad. I mean, it's the wrong one, but it's still, you know, face touch? And gives you a high five. Fish looks like they have been struck by lightning and jolts back alive with one hit point. Take their paired magnetic dagger and stab their reflection in the face where the tattoos should be. Stay the fuck down! Reflection fish scoot spins out of the way as you just hit tile. Shit. I bet you didn't see dad just now though. Actually, I did. He told me to come down here and kick your ass. You're a liar. Put the hand down and jump in one motion. They're what? at your feet and you're just blasting his darts straight down. How about you go try again? Fuck you. And then dies instantly. <laughs> Kekano reappears, dragging behind him a large poleaxe of some kind. Drops it. Dead? Dead! Sinner has seen May run away, metal, crawling back to her feet. He has not seen real May go down just because there's such like a cluster of people, but he knows May is in the cluster. Tears are already starting to stream down his cheek as he kneels over metal, 
he is sobbing and smashes a fist next to her, missing, then takes his other fist and punches into her head. He could not roll low enough to not kill her. And so he cracks into her face, blood leaking out of her head as she dies again. Then he is going to vault the desk and run over here. That is when he can see that May is down. Mercy does also have Spare the Dying and some healing. I just want to remind everyone. When reflections are created uh, in this experiment that Crown has done, they are a mishmash. Different hair colors, hairstyles, looks, skin tones, noses and mouths. And it goes the same with personality, too. Some are kinder. Some are angrier. And some are a little sappier. Don't want to be revolting against the sanctuary. Maybe just read some romance novels in a comfortable bed while a storm outside taps at the window. And so as Reflection 2 sees Sinner running up, she swings at Metal, Nat 1, and then decides to back up and get out of the way of true romance. <laughs> Which means uh, Cal gets an attack of opportunity. They would also take attacks of opportunity from Fish and Metal. They've already got their dagger out, so they're just going to swing. Reflection 2 is looking between May and Sinner, and looking at Fish, and looking at Cal as she steps away and gets out from between them. And as her back is turned, Fish goes, <laughs> and stabs her in the back. Fish and Cal stab her, and she goes, ah, oh, battle couple. <laughs> you have this reflection, this almost person, and... She's looking at all of you, not really sure what she's thinking. But as she moves away, she looks from you to Cal. You two are so... My heart! And is down. She didn't get the opportunity because Fish attacked first. I just want to say Cal whipped out her dagger at the same time and just like Fish beat her to the punch. You Cal and Fish whirl to stab this girl at the exact same time. Reflection one, seeing all of this stuff happening and just being like, what the hell? Reflection and one turns to Reflection May and goes like, are you, see are you seeing? <laughs> are you seeing this? Reflection 1 is going to use their movement to get a little space, get a little bit away. As Sinner has been charging up and sees May, he stops for a moment and goes, Man! This whole dance of daggers happens in front of him. Reflection 1 shoots him in his blind spot. He only takes two damage, but he gets blown ten feet away. So it's literally like... May! Mercy has just been watching this. Mercy is so confused and concerned. There's been a lot happening. She does not have a lot of attack abilities, but she does have some. She is going to throw a mind spike at a Reflection 1. Down. Metal is going to step around, look down at Cal eyes flick to actual cow for a moment. Do you really hate us? I hate what you all represent. Weakness and standing still. Is there any way we can convince you? A reflection cow is going to look at incapacitated allies. Yes, Metal. You're a leader, after all. And makes a nat 20 deception check. Metal is going to help uh, Reflection Cal to her feet. The Reflection Cal's with us now! No. Metal! Metal! <laughs> oh my god. You don't see what happens with Angelus, but you do see 
reflection metal, get back up, and reflection fish, get back up. Reflection may also gets some healing. Did you see him? Just glares at you. Doesn't even try to lie this time. <laughs> you see Elder Volate stand up, start to vibrate as if she is dancing in and out of reality. She is going to snipe at Reflection Cal. Just two arrows from her bow stab into her back. <laughs> Reflection Volate reappears, takes out her bow, fires two shots, and you actually can see normal Volate phase out of existence for a slight minute as the arrows just go through and thock into this desk over here. Reflection May is going to move behind Real May, and she's going to take out the gun and looking at Sinus straight in the fucking eye. For a second, she's going to hold the gun at May, and then she's going to pull it up and take a hit at Sinus. You point at May, click, fire over his head. A very clear threat. I saw what you did to metal. You're too dangerous to be allowed to live. That reflection is like, enemies to lovers! Cal is watching this fucking circus. I'm gonna drink the minor health potion. Crawl, I'm gonna be able to get Kappa, May, and do a spare the diet. Metal was like, Reflection Cal's on our side now! And then Reflection Cal immediately got attacked by Volate, and it's like, okay, nobody but Metal is buying this. It saved me for this moment, and that's it. 14 points of damage towards Metal. I thought you were our friend! And Reflection Cal says, I don't know what would have led you to believe that. Reflected Fish is prone on the ground. Fish steps on their chest and puts as much body weight in that as they can. Hunker down a little bit and go, do you really think that I'll would want you? Do you really think that anyone would? You stomp on your reflection's face and they choke and spit blood. What makes you think that anyone wants you? Why do you think I'm saying it in the first place? At least I have a chance. Not being you is a blessing. Reflection fish sweeps your uh, boot off of them, rolls over, and stands up. Uh, maybe there's no one for either of us. Oh well. And grabs you by the shoulders and does inflict wounds. Fish gives the reflection a blood-mouthed grin and dies. Reflection Kekano makes it to uh, Reflection Fish. Daddy, okay? I thought you get hurt. Yeah, buddy, I'm I'm doing okay. Let's uh, head over here for a minute and rest. Okay. Sinner is going to very cautiously approach, maintaining eye contact with Reflection May scoop up an unconscious May and bring her over to the bench. Then run back and punch Reflection May in the face. Very like tender, slow, everything's okay, we're on the same page. No you don't! He is looking to kill Reflection May, who threatened his May. Sinner is the only one I have to like consistently pull out a calculator for. Man does too much damage. I think he does. Just enough. I think he could do more. Sinner charges up towards Reflection May, shoulder checks her right in the solar plexus, lifting her off her feet, taking the other arm, swinging in a hook, gets her punch drunk most of the way down, but not quite dead, and then Sinner wraps his arms around her in a crushing bear hug grapple and starts squeezing the life out of her with her arms trapped. A Reflection May has gone from 44 health to 12. <laughs> yes, very much Mr. Incredible style. Reflection number two. Here's something. The edge of her hearing. Something like a, a choir. Squints open one eye, starting to feel better in the way that one does right before the end. And sees Sinner 
carrying May over to the bench and center beating up and grappling Reflection May and says, That's hot! And dies. <laughs> Mercy is uh, going to run up here and spare the dying on metal. Reflection metal stands up, carrying what seems to be a clod of earth as Sinner smashed her head into the ground, broke through the tile into the earth below, and has pulled up a fist of mixed earth and her blood. And she charges it with magic and squeezes. A giant hand of stone grows under Elder Volate and grabs her. You haven't been paying particularly close attention to these threads, although you've stayed aware of their existence. You haven't been focusing on finding where they lead. And as you look at them, they disappear. Angelus has dropped direct control over the reflections. You see reflection fish look over their shoulder at an incapacitated dying fish with perhaps a look of guilt. Reflection May struggling, perhaps sad, but resigned. And Reflection Cal looking over at you, not quite sure what she's thinking. And Reflection Metal coming a little more hesitant. Angelus reappears as the shadows part and she's there. Now free hands start lengthening. Nails growing into long black claws of mixed shadow and keratin as she walks up behind Elder Volate and casually slits her throat. Perhaps those of you that are conscious enough to see this, which is Cal, now understand why, in a battle between a reflection and the original, the survivor ended up with her throat ripped out. Reflection Volate is going to head over near Cal and attack Cal twice. Would be pretty hard not to wipe me out since I have like 15 health points left. Two arrows thud into your side. Jesus Christ. That is Cal down. 